it's Pastor Amanda here. This month has been so, so much fun. Up is down, left is right, hot is cold, there's snow in summer. That's right, it's been opposite day and we have been having so, so much fun celebrating. Or should I say not celebrating? This opposite day thing could get kind of confusing. This series has given us the chance to look at some of the things that Jesus has said throughout his life and ministry that have been counter-cultural or kind of opposite to what the culture of his time and even the culture now in our time would say. It can sound a little bit hard to believe that struggles can bring us closer to Jesus or that our enemies can teach us about love, but however, these beautiful opposites remind us that a God we cannot see is always, always with us and that it's better to follow Jesus than ourselves. Happy Opposite Day! Okay, we are going to play a game and I have some friends, or should I say enemies, <laughs> who are going to join me and play a game of Simon Doesn't Say. So when I say Simon doesn't say, they have to do the thing. But when I say Simon says, then they don't do the thing because it's opposite day. So let's meet our friends for today. Hi, Grant. Hi. Hi, Michael. Hello. Hi, Pastor Ben. Hi. Are you guys ready to play Simon doesn't say? Yeah. Woo! Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simon doesn't say. Boop your nose. Simon doesn't say, pat your belly. Simon doesn't say, do a silly dance. Simon says, slither on the ground like a snake. Oh, you guys are good. Simon doesn't say, touch your knees. Simon doesn't say, Say, quack like a duck. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Simon says, do a cartwheel. Oh, you guys are smart. Simon doesn't say, clap your hands. Bye, Simon hands. doesn't say, pat your head. Simon doesn't say, wave your hands in the air. Simon doesn't say, bye kids. My friends, whether you've been joining us on Zoom each week through February for every day of Opposite Day, or if today's your first time joining us, welcome. So happy that you're here. Now, we've learned about four big ideas this month, and we are gonna put them on the screen now. Who can remember our big idea? Here's a challenge for you to help you remember them. We're gonna put each of them on the screen, one after the other. And since it's opposite day, my challenge for you is to say each big idea backwards. Do you think you can do it? Let's find out. likes fishing. Yeah, you like fishing? Cool, cool. I have to be honest, I've never been fishing before. Never done it. I'm from Newfoundland and I've never been fishing, but it seems so relaxing, like hanging out in the boat on the water with the sounds of nature. But what about fishing inside? Have you ever done that before? Oh, it seems pretty hard to do, but what about not fishing in water, but fishing in whipped cream. Have you ever done that before? Oh, that sounds challenging. What about 
not fishing for fish in whipped cream, but fishing for fish sticks in whipped cream. Have you ever done that before? And what about not even fishing with a fishing rod or like with my hands? What about fishing with your feet? Have you ever fished for fish sticks in whipped cream with your feet? That probably sounds like the opposite of something that you would do. And it sounds like the opposite of something that I should do. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Mm, I have some delicious fish sticks here. Mm, so yummy, such a good snack. But the best part is the whipped cream. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> I would eat that every day. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> But, here's something else I'm not going to do every day. Fish for fish sticks in whipped cream. How many fish sticks do you think I can get out with my feet in one minute? Make your bets. Two. Okay. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Let's see how I do. I'm gonna start the timer in three, two, one. Oh, that's a sensation. <laughs> oh, this is harder than I thought it was. It's so slippery. It's so slippery. Doing so good. I think I have three. I think that's three. Maybe I got two in one round. I don't know. I feel like there's totally two in that one. There's totally two in that one. I am doing so good at this game. Oh. any of you were right. Mm. One, two, ooh, there was a crumb in that. Three, four, five, six. Did I count that one already? Okay, yeah, no, that's, yeah, no, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did so good. <laughs> All right, kids, are you going to try this at home? I uh, would recommend it, but by that I actually mean the opposite. I would not recommend doing this at home. But I'm glad you joined me and watched me do it. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Who remembers this month's memory verse? It's such a good one. It comes from 2 Corinthians 12 and 9, and it says, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. I love that verse so, so, so much because it reminds us that God's grace is so huge and God's grace is always enough for us. He gives us so, so, so much grace and love despite the fact that we are humans and none of us are perfect. But the Holy Spirit is always present with us and is here to help us be more like Jesus and show his love and kindness to the people around us. So to help us remember our memory verse from all of February, we are going to say it together. And I want you guys to say the memory verse. First, we're going to say it really, really quiet. Okay. Do you think you can say it really, really quiet? In three, two, one. was so quiet.
quiet. You guys are really good at this. Do you think you can do it again? Even quieter this time? Okay. That was so quiet, I could barely even hear you. You guys are really good at this. Now, do you think you could say the memory verse really loud? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go! Oh! Oh! So loud! Oh, my ears, you guys are so loud! But you know what? I think you could do it even louder. Yep, I think you could do it even louder. Let's try it in three, two, one, go! Oh, wow! Ears. That was so loud, you guys. Well, I am so glad that we got to learn this memory verse together this month. It is such a good one, and I hope you guys remember it moving forward. What is one kind of opposite thing that Jesus said or did that stood out to you from this month's Bible stories? And most importantly, what can you do with it? How can you make the thing that Jesus taught that stood out the most to you real in your life? That is my challenge for you today. I am gonna pray for you guys. God, thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus, so that we could know you and experience your love. Help us to live our lives in a way that follows the example that Jesus has set for us. This will help us to experience your love in our own lives and share your love with the people around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, kids!